We didn't. Self-talk is the secret to success. But very few people believe it and understand it because they fail to hold themselves responsible for their thoughts and their actions. Moreover, many do not understand how the mind works, but I'm going to tell you how the mind really works. You see, you have a conscious and a subconscious mind, which means you have a visible self and an invisible self. So everything that you see that is visible, it was once invisible. And in order to transmute that which is invisible to that which is visible, it all have to do with your thoughts. And your thoughts are thought frequency because everything is basically energy and everything is based on energy, vibration, and frequency. Therefore, what you speak to yourself inwardly with feeling, that is what will become your reality. So you look at someone and they're not successful. You look at someone and you realize that they have more potential within themselves than what they are showing based on what they are doing in their life. And the reason for that have to do with their self-talk. What kind of conversation they're having with themselves. You see, a person can say, I can, and a person can say, I can't. And they can do it in their mind. So many people are doubting themselves in their mind. Many people do not believe in themselves. And the people who are looking on the outside for a savior, a lord, a master, and a redeemer, most of the time, those are the people who will never accept their higher self, their creative self, their God self, which is the true essence. Because they are speaking to themselves in the term, in terms of judgment, condemnation, doubt, fear, guilt, shame, and they are holding to false identity, which is pointing them to look outwardly when they're supposed to be looking inwardly. So if you're poor, but you want to be rich, you have to start to talk to yourself as one who's rich and believe in yourself. Talk. Believe that you're rich, know that you're rich, act like you're rich. Because you understand energy, vibration, and frequency. And you want to tap into the rich and successful frequency. So really and truly, the secret to success has to do with your self-talk. What are you saying to yourself when you're with yourself? You see, there's no one to change but self. You're responsible for everything that's happening in your life. There's only cause and effect. So many people look at the effect and they judge themselves based on the effect instead of the cause. So people look at the results that others are getting in their life and they would say that is of the devil and believe that the devil is some entity outside of themselves and they're so chopped in the belief of good and evil and fail to realize that nothing is really good or evil but thinking make it so because everything is mental everything is psychological everything has to be false a thought a false an idea because really and truly if you have a, 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 a good understanding of how, how the mind works you're not going to allow your mind to lead you into things that are going to bring hurt to you all leading to the things that are get you incarcerated and, and so on, right? You're not going to do those things because you're in your right mind. So the key to life lies in our mentality. But how do we transmute something from the mind 
to reality. It's by what we convince our subconscious mind with. And how do we convince our subconscious mind? It's through feelings. So that true feeling is an impression that we impress upon the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind do not know the difference. The subconscious mind doesn't know any such a thing as good and evil. No, whatever is impressed upon the subconscious mind, that's what the subconscious mind will give to you. So if you impress the subconscious mind with the feeling that you're successful, the feeling that you're rich, the feeling that you have accomplished your goals and your dreams in life, if you do that and you impress the subconscious mind, it is because that would become your reality. That is what you will experience in life. And if you have a religious and superstitious mentality, you give praise to some entity outside of yourself. You go in church and give testimony and say, God bless you and God give you this and God give you that. And then when you chase the thing that you're glorifying and saying that your Savior and, and, and your Lord and your Master give to you, you only chase it back. It's some man, some woman who invented it to, uh, years ago. And, you see, and then when you check the belief of that man or, or that woman, they believe in energy, vibration, and frequency. They never believe in, 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 in having a religious and superstitious mentality. They knew that the power was within themselves, and they, they, they remain faithful to the unseen. They were operating in faith. They remain loyal to the things they couldn't see, but they believe about themselves, and they believe the, the potential that was, was it, what, that was within themselves. Because it takes faith for us to have the telephone, for us to have the automobile, for us to have the airplane, and all the other great inventions. So the key to success. It have to do with the self-talk, it have to do with the mind. Because everything is created twice, first in the mind and then on the outside. The, 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 the moment you fully understand that, you never look to a sky god. You never look for a man in the sky. You never look for a man to come back for you, to redeem you. You never look for that. You never call on any Jesus to be your savior. Much less when you look at the idol they give you about Jesus. It doesn't even look like you. You realize that many people are the only people in this world that believe in a savior that doesn't look like them. The Chinese, their Buddha look like them. India, all the people in India, uh, do they have, they have so many different gods. They all look like them. So my brother, my sisters, what are you speaking to yourself? Are, are you speaking lack and mediocrity? Are you speaking limitation? Are, are you accepting the fact that you are a limitless being, that you are a spirit, having a human experience, and that you can do all things through the Christ consciousness that is within you, and you are working to activate that Christ, that Christ consciousness that is within you, and not giving your power to some idol, and, and living in idolatry. Believing that there was some man 2,000 years ago special powers. No, the power is within you, in your mind. Imagination is greater than knowledge. Learn to grab a hold of your imagination and learn to visualize and speak the right things in your life to get the right results. So my brother, my sisters, no one to blame but yourself. And there's no one to change but yourself. Whatever results you're getting in life, there's no one to blame but yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. So with that we said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you are listening to me, and what I'm saying, if it really makes sense, if it really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or uh, to share this video. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mark Crew. And I would also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Bird. If only people understand the Virgin Bird is a parable, if only people will understand that it is teaching you how you can bring forth your brainchild or you can bring forth anything in this world without the instrumentality of a man. If you will only understand that and understand how the mind works, you'll be able to live your dream life, the life you have always dreamed. 
to live. So I'll definitely encourage you to get that book, Plus Spiritual Recipe for Better Living, and all my other books that are available on Amazon, and also my journals. I'll definitely encourage you to use them to journal your life the way you want it to be. Also, if you like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And uh, you, there's a lot of information that is available to you. However, for those who are donating 20 or more dollars, you have access to a course that is called the Inner Fun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. So my last encouragement to you is to make sure you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I just want to say peace, love you all, and um,